For some people, the cold can cause an allergic reaction. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson explains as we continue our winter blast coverage. Well, it almost sounds like something we'd say to get out of working outside. Oh, I'm allergic to the cold. But for people with cold urticaria, it's not a joke. We're all bundling up in these crazy cold temperatures, but for some people, just feeling cold air on their face can be a health risk. Even if it's below 60, if I'm out in it too long and I get cold, it'll do it to me. Cold urticaria is a rare condition where people get an allergic reaction when they come in contact with the cold. April Grisby was diagnosed when she was 19. I went swimming at the first of summer. You know, the water was still a little cool, and... I got hives all over me. The skin in contact with the cold surface can break out in hives, swell up, and start to itch. Anytime cold uh, touches your skin, so it could be a cold wind on the face, you could get urticaria on the face that way. Um, the most common way that people get it is just by touching something that is cold. Heather Joe sent us these pictures on Facebook. She was outside for just five minutes today. Her chest became red and hands started to swell. You could touch a uh, glass with ice water in it and you could get hives on your hands or swelling in your hands. Doctors say one way you can tell if you have cold urticaria is to do an ice cube test. All you have to do is take an ice cube and put it on your skin for about five minutes. When the time is up, take the ice cube off. Your arm will be red, everyone's will be, but you still have to wait a few more minutes to finish the test. After about another five minutes, another check of my arm, you can see the redness is almost gone. If you have cold urticaria, you'd have a big welt where the ice cube was. If you know you have this condition before you're going to be exposed to some type of cold, if you take an over-the-counter antihistamine, it could prevent some of these reactions. Cold urticaria usually develops as a young adult and sometimes will go away after several years. People with more severe reactions can't even eat or drink cold things because their throats could swell up. In the Weather Center, I'm Alice Ivinson.